Hello students, welcome back to SRM Biology classes. The most important topic in the chapter, the living world is the taxonomic aids. What are all the taxonomic tools and techniques widely employed in the identification for the classification and for the understanding of scientific stuff of the living organisms. We need the essentiality of taxonomic, we need the essentiality of taxonomic aids. Various types of living organisms are collected from different parts of the earth surface for the taxonomical studies. To preserve the specimens, to preserve the specimens under laboratory conditions, for the future references and for the systematic studies, various tools and techniques are very essential. Various tools and techniques are very essential. These tools and techniques are popularly designated as taxonomical tools. Taxonomical tools. Some of the important taxonomical tools are namely herbarium, botanical gardens, biological museums, zoological parks and taxonomical keys are the some of the important scientific tools and techniques widely used in the widely used in the laboratory conditions for the systematic classification identification and for the naming of the living organisms and for the thorough scientific uh, observation these two and techniques will play a very important role the first important uh, taxonomical tool is the herbarium herbarium is a storehouse or it is a place or the storehouse of plant specimens that are collected they are subjected to drying the plant specimens are subjected to well spreading after well spreading it is uh, pasted on herbarium sheets it is pasted on herbarium sheets for the future reference these herbarium sheets are scientifically arranged according to universally accepted system of classification universally accepted uh, taxonomical system of classifications is uh, taken into consideration for the arrangement of the herbarium sheets. Herbarium uh, is defined as it is a storehouse of plant specimens. In that storehouse, the plants are collected, they are well spread and well dried, and they are well pressed and it is subjected to preservation on herbarium sheets. These sheets are scientifically arranged according to universally accepted system of classification. Some of the universally accept, uh, accepted systems of classifications are namely Bentham and Hooker system of classification, Engler and Pranta system of classification, and Hutchinson's system of classification are widely employed. For the study convenience, in majority of the uh, herbariums, the Bentham and Hooker, it is popularly designated as the natural system of classification, is taken into consideration for the systematic arrangement of the herbarium shades. At the time of, uh, at the time of preparation of the herbarium, at the right hand side of the herbarium sheet, you can find the presence of complete information of the uh, complete taxonomical description of the place. It will give the uh, information regarding the botanical name of the plant, to which family it will belong. It will give the uh, seasonal uh, it will give the information regarding the season of flowering. It will give the information regarding at which altitude the plant is available. And also it will give the information regarding 
the altitude and latitude where the uh, plant is found on the uh, surface in addition to this the collector's name and in addition to this the remarks are legibly written on the herbarium sheet the remarks are legibly written on the herbarium sheets these herbarium sheets are widely used for the systematic study for the extraction of the uh, therapeutic compounds and also for the uh, tracing of phylogenetic relationship these herbarium sheets are widely employed in the taxonomical tools or widely employed in the taxonomical tools one of the uh, biggest uh, herbarium on the earth surface is the the royal botanical garden herbarium in the kew gardens of london it is situated in the britain is said to be the one of the biggest biggest uh, herbarium in the world it comprises of more than 65 lakh wide varieties of herbarium sheets and all these plant specimens are collected across the globe or collected from the uh, different parts of the earth the second important uh, herbarium is situated in the india that is in the calcutta the name of the herbarium is the central national herbarium near howrah of uh, calcutta is one of the leading herbarium in our country another important one is also situated in different parts of the uh, country namely the dehradun coimbatore and also in the pune the name of the herbarium is the botanical survey of india's uh, herbarium is one of the uh, the best herbariums in the nation this is with reference to some of the important herbariums situated uh, on the earth surface the second important taxonomical tool is the botanical garden in a valid terminology the botanical garden is defined as it is the storehouse of living plants these living plants are subjected to cultivation under human supervision or cultivated under human supervision these plants are used for the various taxonomical studies various taxonomical studies these living space and these living plant specimens are Uh, subjected to plant breeding for the mass multiplication and for uh, the preservation of the plant for the future generation the botanical gardens will play a very important role botanical garden is the place is the store place of living plant specimens under human supervision such a unique place is called botanical garden with reference to few important botanical gardens one of the, the most beautiful botanical garden is the royal botanical garden in the kew gardens of england is said to be the one of the, the most beautiful botanical gardens in the world the second important one is the indian botanical garden again in the calcutta is the one of the, the most beautiful botanical garden another important one is the national botanical garden in lucknow the national botanical garden in the lucknow in addition to this the uti botanical garden in udakamandalam of tamil nadu are said to be the some of the important botanical garden in our uh, state in our karnataka the lalbag botanical garden established by the tipu sultan is one of the the best botanical gardens in karnataka in karnataka the next important uh, taxonomical tool is the biological museum biological museum is the place used for storage preservation and for the exhibition of plant and animal species in natural forum in natural forum the living organism is not subjected to any alterations the plants the plant and the animal species are subjected to store preserve and it is subjected to 
exhibition in natural conditions, such a unique place is called biological, such a unique place is called biological museum. Literally, museums are normally established by the educational institutions, hospitals and universities in order to educate the civilians and students, in order to educate the civilians and students. With reference to the mode of preservation, in case of biological museums, the insects are normally stored in insect box or normally stored in insect box. For the preservation of large sized animals, namely fox, elephant, bat and other animals, the internal components are removed along with the skeletal system. It is subjected to stuffing. It is subjected to stuffing either by making use of synthetic coal or by making use of cotton. The stuffing is normally done in order to maintain the naturality of the living organisms. For the uh, storage and for the preservation of plant specimens, the formaldehyde, HCHO, formaldehyde is widely used as a preservative agent. At the time of preservation of the plant specimens, the copper sulfate is widely employed in order to retain the chlorophyll content of the plant specimens. Such a unique methodology is widely employed in order to store and preserve the plant specimens under laboratory conditions in natural condition in natural condition with reference to some of the important biological museums in uh, india is the mahatma gandhi museum in india the museum of science and industry in the chicago the british museum in the london in addition to this the natural gallery museum in the london are some of the uh, well reputed biological museums in order to educate the civilians and students. The next important biological tool is the zoological park. The zoological park is defined as it is the place where the wild animals are kept under protection under human supervision are subjected to protection in natural conditions under human supervision. Such a unique place is called zoological park. In zoological parks, critically endangered living organisms and some of the wild animals are subjected to caring, protection and breeding under human supervision, under human supervision by providing all the natural conditions, by providing all the natural condition. Such a unique place meant for the uh, meant for the uh, preservation of wild animals, live wild animals under human supervision, under protected environment, under protected environment is called zoological park. With reference to some of the important zoological parks in our uh, country, means uh, in our Karnataka, Sri Jayachamarajendra Vadayar Zoological Park in Mysore is one of the, the best uh, zoological park in the country and also in the state. The zoological garden in the Kolkata the zoological garden in the Kolkata is another important zoological park. Another important zoological park is the Mahatma Gandhi National Park in the Madhya Pradesh. In addition to this, the Banergata Zoological Park near Bangalore. The Banergata Zoological Park in Bangalore are said to be the, some of the important zoological parks in our country. In our country. The last important one is the taxonomical keys. Taxonomical keys. Literally, the taxonomical keys are widely employed in the laboratory condition for the classification, identification and for the systematic naming of the living organisms and also for the documentation, various types of taxonomical keys are widely employed. In a valid terminology, the taxonomical key is defined as it is a taxonomical U. 
it is a taxonomical aid used for the identification of plants and animals based on the similarities and dissimilarities based on the similarities and dissimilarities it is a taxonomical aid used for the identification of plants and animals based on the similarities and dissimilarities such a unique methodology is called taxonomical keys various types of taxonomical keys are widely employed in the taxonomical studies in order to identification in order to identify for naming and for the classification of living organisms based on the similarities and dissimilarities these taxonomical keys are widely employed the first important taxonomical key is manual the next one is monograph the flora and catalog are some of the important taxonomical keys widely used in the taxonomical studies the first important one is the uh, the first important one is the couplet. At the time of naming the living organism and for the segregation of living organism based on the similarities and dissimilarities, we need the essentiality of couplet. In a valid terminology, the couplet is defined as each pair of contrasting statements each pair of contrasting statements is called couplet. It represents, it represents the choice made between the two opposite plants. Two opposite plants are the living organism based on the visual observation. This resulting in the Accept, acceptance of one character and rejection of the other character based on the acceptance and rejection based on the similarities and dissimilarities we started to segregate the plant or the animal species each statement in a couplet each statement in a couplet is called lead each statement in a couplet is called lead. The manus, the monograph, flora and catalog are widely used in the taxonomical key for the systematic separation and identification of the living organisms. The first important one is the manus. Manual is the recorded description. It is the recorded description of plant species found in a particular geographical area which provides useful information regarding that particular, that particular living organism that will aid in identification, that will aid in identification. Such a unique literary information is documented in the manuals. It is the recorded description. It is the recorded description of the plant specimen found in a particular geographical area which is uh, which uh, provides useful information which provides useful information for the identification of the living organism. Such a book is called manual. The next important one is monograph. The name it's in, itself indicates that mono refers to single. Mono refers to single. In a valid terminology, the monograph is defined as the manuscript having the complete taxonomical description of a single taxon. Single taxon is the monograph, is the monograph. If we consider the monograph of the mango, it will give the complete information regarding the mango plant. Mango plant. The next important one is the flora. Flora is the recorded description of 
the total number of plants found in that particular geographical area found in that particular geographical area is called flora in addition to this the word flora is widely employed in order to record the documentation of the total number of plant species found in that particular geographical area flora of madras presidency was written by gamble was written by gamble is one of the classical example for the flora flora is the recorded description of plants found in that particular habitat in a particular geographical area in a particular geographical area that unique one is called flora the last one is the catalog catalog is the register it will gives the complete or it will gives the total number of plant and the animal species found in that particular geographical area in catalog all the animals are arranged in the alphabetical order for the easy identification for the easy identification these are the some of the important taxonomical keys widely used in the taxonomical studies for the identification classification and for the naming of the living organism based on the similarities and dissimilarities based on the similarities and dissimilarities with this it will comes to the end of the chapter it will comes to the the end of the chapter with reference to some of the important uh, mcqs the first question states that the recorded description contain information on any one taxon is called any one taxon is called monograph the right option is monograph in that you can find the presence of the remaining three options namely flora manios and catalog the recorded description contain information on any one taxon is normally documented in monograph the second one is the recorded description useful in providing information for identification of names of specimens found in an area is popularly designated as manuals is purely designated as manuals manual is the recorded description of plant specimens found in an area which provides useful information for the identification for the identification is called manuals an international center for plant identification is you can find four options namely royal botanical garden national botanical garden indian botanical garden and royal society of england the right option is the royal botanical garden is the center for the plant identification in that uh, royal botanical garden you can find the presence of one of the biggest uh, herbarium in the world that will uh, contains all the plant specimens collected across the globe which one serve as quick reference system in taxonomic studies the herbarium will provide quick reference system in taxonomic studies by preserving the plant we can use the herbarium sheet for the systematic and for the scientific studies the famous botanical garden is royal botanical garden q gardens yes it is true indian botanical garden situated in howrah of kolkata yes it is true national botanical research institute situated at lucknow yes all the three are the famous botanical gardens the right option is all the above in addition to this i will send the pdf of the the remaining questions once you go through the study material and try to answer the
multiple choice questions. In the next class, I will going to start the new chapter. Thank you. Thank you very much.